Which bit's the chorus? It's the bit where the lyrics repeat. <laughs> 20 years ago, I was rehearsing for the release of my first album. You were there. Oh, I was there. That's right. And as we were rehearsing for this show, we were playing through this particular song. And I remember this moment so clearly because as we were there rehearsing, we had the lap slide and a cello and percussion and guitar, beautiful instruments. And I was thinking about arranging ideas. And in my mind, I thought, wow, okay, on the second chorus, I think we should do a little bit less lap slide and a rhythmic thing on the cello and have these great arranging ideas. So I said, guys, on the second chorus, can we do a bit of this and a bit of that? And you and everyone else in the band nodded politely, sweetly, smiling. And then I saw some nervous glances to each other. And finally, someone, probably you, said, um, Kev, which bit's the chorus? <laughs> and I thought, which bit's the chorus? It's the bit where the lyrics repeat. And the journey for me from that moment to now <laughs> has been to grapple with this idea that the chorus is more than just the bit where the lyrics repeat. And when I think about that experience 20 years ago, mm. I realise that the bit where the lyrics repeat that I knew was the chorus wasn't translating to anyone else as the chorus because the chorus has to sound like a chorus. It has to land. It has to feel like the central moment of your whole song. And if the chords and music and lyrics aren't all directing the ear of a listener to hear it like that, then it's not really functioning as a chorus. Let's just talk for a moment about how to define a chorus. And let's also talk about what we need a chorus to do functionally. What role do we need our chorus to play in our song structure? The first thing to understand about a chorus is that musically and lyrically, it should convey the central message, the core idea or central emotion of the entire song. Musically, we need the chorus to create contrasts. One of the challenges that arose for Kepi 20 years ago was that for her, it was obvious where the chorus was because she'd written the song. For us, as the members of the band, it wasn't obvious. There wasn't enough contrast between the sections or the verse and the chorus for us to really clearly hear the difference. So creating contrast between your sections is crucial to creating a very effective and powerful chorus. 9 p.m. is the sweetest time when your head gets heavy, your breathing gets steady I can feel the brush of sleep untangle your mind Here inside these quiet moments Love seems simple in every single way I make it complicated, unwind I roll back the movie reel to the day you were born when I thought how the hell do I do this right and I swore love is the only answer love is the only plan love is the only road forward or back love is the only answer We've created this video using selected scenes and highlights from our brand new online course, The Five Most Powerful Songwriting Exercises Revealed. A course that guides you practically and in great detail through five songwriting exercises that have had a profound effect on both Kepi and I and have shaped us as professional songwriters over the years. Trust us, these exercises will help you write better songs. So if you're interested, check out the Udemy link below.